Open Sourcing Sustainable Villages. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 187. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 187, October 23rd, 2016 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering one week of our team's progress and accomplishments with pictures and video. And if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and manage your updates that way. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core standards. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the second 25% of the written content for the individuality lesson plan to the website, as you see here. This lesson plan purposed to teach all subjects to all learning levels in any learning environment using the central theme of individuality is now 50% completed on our website. Behind the scenes, we wrote the third 25% of the written part of the individuality lesson plan. We also completed the first 25% of the mind map for the personal growth lesson plan, which you see here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This last week, the core team completed correcting the formatting on the transition kitchen page. You can see images of that work here. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued with layers of revisions for the upcoming Seven Villages online book. This week's focus was on final edits to several of the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 renders and updating the formatting of the related presentation pages. The core team and Ashwini Ramesh, civil engineer and project manager, also put another combined total of 20 hours into the behind-the-scenes revision for the Footers, Foundations, and Flooring page for the crowdfunding campaign we are developing. This week's work included about 10 more chapters of formatting for the website, integrating the stucco netting installation segment from the opening stock, researching passive solar and design considerations for our domes, adding more tools, and further updating the narrative to reflect drainage updates. Shilsey Augustine, architect, continued her third week of helping us merge all our Earthbag Village files. This week's focus was updates to all the images you see here with the black background and completely redrawing all the images on the white background. She also helped us create the title blocks we'll be using. Dean Scholz, architectural designer, further developed what's necessary for us to create quality Cobb Village Pod 3 renders. Here is update 40 of his work continuing to work on external details and providing this final render of the front view looking northwest, and this initial render of the children's play area and central view looking southwest. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 13th week helping evolve the compressed earth block village pod 4. This week's focus was more updates to the living space layouts and adding new details to the Revit 3D plans for the southwest residences. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, 
also finished 3D creation of the specific blocks that will be used for the Compressed Earth Block Village Pod 4. What you see here is his eighth week of this work that also included finishing the designs for the first 3D Earth Block Bench. Aparna Tandon, architect, additionally continued her work on the Compressed Earth Block Village external elements. What you see here is her third week of work, continuing to visualize the specifics of the north area of this village. Yi Cheng Ho, interior designer, also finished her fifth week of helping by creating these new first generation views of the shipping container village pod 5, unit types 1, as they are planned for in the village, and unit types 3 and 4, as they are planned for in the village. Jiming Chen, designer with his master's in architecture and BA in engineering, also continued helping develop the Treehouse Village Pod 7. What you see here is his third week of this work focusing on developing a new design for the standalone bathroom and shower structure. As shown here, this new design matches the look and layout of the rest of the village structures. Zachary Moline, graphic designer, also continued updating the Treehouse Village Pod 7 book created by last year's intern team. What you see here is week 11 of this work that was round one of updating all the page colors to match the new color palette. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team began a new round of renders creation for the duplicable city center file. The perspectives created for consideration here include the root cellar and sunrise patio. We also continue developing the aesthetic details around the natural pool and the social dome. This week, we placed more lights and plants around the indoor part of the pool. Ira Sue, industrial designer, also finished render testing the recycle pipe shelving for the Duplical City Center Library. What you see here is round 22 of her work producing this diversity of final renders and perspectives for what the library will look like, incorporating all of her shelving, table, couch, and chair designs. Hayes Lay, Structural Engineer, and Shuna Nee, Masters of Mechanical Engineering and Civil Engineering PhD, continued their work on the City Center column placement and calculations. What you see here are detailed summaries of their structural calculation and design work to this point, including rationales for their decisions so we could get a second review before moving forward. Neha Verma, Construction Project Manager and Bachelors of Architecture, also helped create our second generation wall section detail drawings. You can see some of the work in progress drawings here. And Dipti Dondrecker, electrical engineer, also continued with her 18th week of work on the lighting zones, completing new calculations to include room area details in square feet and wattage per square foot calculations. Jin Chi Feng, environmental consultant, also continued her research helping us create an in depth laundry and dryer machine sustainability analysis. What you see here is her seventh week of behind-the-scenes research into this area. This week's focus was identifying the top 10 water-efficient and energy-efficient Energy Star personal washers and dryers and comparing their efficiency to traditional washers and dryers. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true Earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, Ashwin Patil, web developer, completed his third week of helping with the new site design details. This week's focus was updating the layout of the new site search tool to be horizontal and starting to add in all the links and pages for the food section. One community is open sourcing sustainable villages. What this means is we are open sourcing the physical foundations necessary to build sustainable villages, which are food infrastructure, energy infrastructure, and housing infrastructure. We're also taking the idea of open sourcing sustainable villages to a new level by open sourcing the emotional foundations of sustainability, which would go with these villages. We've identified these as highest good education, fulfilled living practices, or highest good society, highest good economic models, as well as true earth stewardship models. And we're putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability to create a sustainable village way of living that we think most people will consider to be better than the way that they're living right now. Our idea is that if we can make sustainable village living or sustainability in general easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, 
then the idea will spread on its own. And we're taking this to the next level by building one community as a teacher demonstration hub designed specifically to be completely open source so it's replicable and to open source the foundations of it that are designed to teach others how to create sustainable villages as well. So everything that we're creating, everything that we're doing is designed to be put together as a complete model, as a teacher demonstration hub prototype, a solution model purpose to create additional solution creating models that has been made easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrated as attractive enough so it's not only self-sufficient, it's not only self-sustainable, but it is self-replicating. And we're addressing all of these foundations of sustainability together because we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And we believe, we know, that if we can truly create a model that demonstrates a way of living that is better than the way that people are living right now, so that most people think it is better than the way they're living right now, gives them more of the things that they want, more of the things that they need, and we can make it easy enough and demonstrate it as a for and create it affordably enough so it spreads, spreads on its own, we can create a world for the first time in human history that truly is sustainable, that fully meets the needs of all people everywhere. Once and for all, or at least once and for the predictable future, addressing, simultaneously addressing all the greatest challenges that we're facing right now. Everything from social inequality and injustice and lack of quality education to homelessness, starvation, war, poverty, all these things being interrelated because they're dependent on people not having what they need and an environment that doesn't really support, that supports competition over cooperation and collaboration. And we want to create that cooperative collaborative model. And so to do that, we're bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all, which is a foundation of what our project is all about. And we're open sourcing all of these blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, the food, the energy, the housing, education, the economic models, the social architecture, as well as the stewardship models, open sourcing all of those things so that they can be implemented as either the complete teacher demonstration, community, village, city, or hub that we've been talking about, or as individual components with the idea being that if we create them with the consciousness for the highest good of all, and we put it out there so that it's replicable and open source, then human ingenuity will do the rest. And so this is our idea of open sourcing sustainable villages and ultimately open sourcing a, glo a global sustainability track, plan, structure, model, implementable by anyone, anywhere. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds interesting to you, something you'd like to be involved in, we are a 100% volunteer organization, including myself. We're all unpaid for what it is that we're doing, and we are creating this because we know it's possible, because we want to live this way, because we think that it is a worthwhile venture and adventure, and you are invited to join us if you'd like to. We've got lots of different ways to do that. You can read all about them on our website. Of course, the easiest way to help us out, if you'd like to just help from behind the scenes, uh, is to share our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks. Check us out. We are on LinkedIn. We are on Twitter. We are on Tumblr. We are on Reddit. We are on Pinterest. We are on about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to access and share the information that we're creating, which is all open source and free shared because we understand that the only way to create global transformation is if enough people participate to reach that tipping point so that it positively impacts more and more people and ultimately reaches that tipping point so that it positively impacts everybody, even the people that aren't participating. And this is the ultimate purpose of open sourcing sustainable villages and the ultimate purpose of one community is to create global, positive and permanent global transformation and a truly sustainable civilization that will benefit everyone and everything living on our shared planet. So a lot of people ask us, well, what is the biggest thing that one community that would benefit one community right now? Well, we're still seeking large scale funding. So if you or somebody you know is interested in donating to one community or investing in one community, we would love to speak with you if you have the resources to do that. Like I said, we're an all unpaid nonprofit volunteer staff. Uh, so everybody here is doing this because we believe that it's possible and we want to see it happen. So but we're still seeking that large scale funding to help us get the property off the market so that we can take our whole open source process to the next level so we can evolve our team exponentially faster by disclosing the location that we've been focusing on for the last six years and working around and get that property under the ownership of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization so we can do everything that is the next step related to that. In the meantime, our main focus 
is open sourcing sustainable villages. We are still developing all the details and our primary focus is just working on everything so that we are shovel ready when the time comes for us to have people on the property and to start building so that all of the details are worked out. And so we can start just shooting the open source tutorials, the videos, like creating all the multimedia instructional tutorials and videos to take everything to the next level and to continue to fill out the infrastructure that we've already built with the website, but to continue to add the tutorials, written tutorials, etc., to that. And so we have all of our T's crossed, our I's dotted, and we're ready to start building. And this is our primary focus right now. But we're still seeking large scale funding. So if you or somebody you know can help with that, we'd love to speak with you. Um, so this is what we're up to. This is our open sourcing sustainable villages. Anybody can join us. Thank you for listening to the end. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content and everything that I'm talking about that has been discussed in this video, visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and you, we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, manage your updates that way. As always, I'd like to say thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the donations. Uh, we operate 100% uh, on donations, but our donations not cover our operating expenses. So it's helpful. The $5, the $10, the $15, the $20, those little donations really add up and help us cover the sizable expenses of running a global website like we do. None of us are paid, as I said, but we do have a lot of expenses related to the website primarily. Uh, and so all the donations are really, really appreciated. We thank everybody for following us and supporting us in the ways that you do, the emails that we get, the likes, the shares, the comments that we get are all very helpful. Everything is integrated into what we do and uh, we will continue to open source sustainable villages. And as I say at the end of every one of these videos, until next week, we will also keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.